Hey guys, in this video today, I want to explain to you how we deal with um, the winter when the commercial power goes out. We have a hybrid inverter. What that means is on board in here, there is a um, charger, battery charger, that when these batteries get depleted, I mean it's almost down to nothing, the inverter reads the voltage and will kick over and pull commercial power from our commercial power from our panel because there's wires that feed from there to here it'll take that power and it'll direct it over to the solar panel electrical panel but it'll also take power back feed it through the battery cables into the batteries and charge these batteries but the problem with that when there's no commercial power is I mean it could run out of batteries could be dead in the middle of the night and they die um, so you could plug a generator into the our commercial power panel, um, you know, and have it to auto switch over, blah blah blah, whatever, and have it back feed into this and charge these batteries when the when the commercial power is out. The problem with that is you got to really know what you're doing because if you don't shut off the main breaker and that, or if you don't have a transfer switch, you can back feed out to the to the, to the outside world, and you could you know in fact electrocute somebody out on the line that's working on them so basically the way I do it is I have this 48 volt charger and it goes from 12 up to 48 volts and there's a 48 and a 48 high and then you can turn the amperage up and down right here it's a very good little machine and I can run it for about three to four hours with that little generator oh, stupid chickens with this little generator and this is just a 2500 little, I mean, it's dinky dinky. Like I said, this half gallon or maybe three quarter gallon gas uh, can in it. It'll run for maybe four hours, which would be enough to run this battery charger during the day. So like I said, if I have a generator plugged into this system and this is gonna charge through that other generator, through the big generator, these batteries could go dead in the middle of the night, which would mean I would have to get up and run a generator in the middle of the night for this onboard charger to charge these if, it, if they were to die in the middle of the night. So the, what I came up with was this. I got this off eBay. Let's go ahead and start this. I'll show you how, how good it works. I'm going to power this sucker on. Now, it's not that noisy. I mean, it's noisy, but not like the big generator that I got. So, clear that. So, right now, so power that on. So, it has 48 volts. Hopefully, you can hear me. It has 48 volts and then 48 volt high. So, on high, if I had a bigger generator, like I said, this 2500 would do it, but if I had a bigger generator, it would produce more. So right now on low on the amperage control on low it's put out like two and a half amps right I could turn this up to high so it's putting out 8.9 10 it'll go up to about seven here charging these batteries when the uh, I have no commercial power and I can like I said I can do this during the day that's the big part is I can do this during the day when it doesn't matter if you're running a generator and there's a foot of snow out because um, we could be without commercial power for days here and so this will actually get me by and the only time I'd be doing this is if if the batteries were were getting depleted because the solar system was covered with snow or whatever reason ice whatever and if, as long as that solar system if it's not keeping up with it I do have another option of course I would turn off the hot tub and all the big all the stuff that uses a lot of power because all that stuff's hooked up to my uh, solar system um, through the other my secondary panel but the sun gold it's a great great inverter it's 18,000 watts is what it can produce and it, it does very very good it just it just makes power but this thing pretty happy with it right now we're only putting out six amps if I flip it over to high See, it's still only about six amps because that's all that that can put out is about six to seven amps. So I just leave it on 48 volt. Just let it run during the day and, and it can charge these batteries. 
Um, as you see, these are almost depleted. So commercial power is going to probably kick in a little bit because it's been a it's been a rainy day. Let's go ahead and turn this generator off. So like I say, that's that's a 2,000 watt um, rated 2,500 watt on a, a burst. So it only it only is going to produce maybe. 14 amps at 120 volts so anyway that's that's it in a nutshell that's how i get by in the winter um seems to work pretty good like i said because i can run it during the day and just boost these batteries back up if i if need be anyway i'll put a link for this on the description got it off amazon um i can't remember what i paid for but i'll, I'll link, link that to you but it's um works very well and i just hook it up to the bus bars on the side the battery rack. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. If you got any comments? Go ahead and leave them, and I'll answer you. Have a great day. Thanks.